let's make a start. First question that I am asked practically every week is how to get started with CNC routers especially. The main problem seems to be with everybody is the expense. Well I'll show you how to get started very cheaply. Okay so if I was to start with a CNC hobby again this is what I would start off with and this is a 3018 meaning it has the travel of 30 millimeters 180 millimeters in the, in the Y and I think this one has um, 45 millimeter travel in the Z uh, but this particular one that I have has been modified extensively uh, this isn't the original motor this is I think four or five times larger than the original uh, this was I, I designed this uh, motor housing then or holder um, and 3d printed it and this power unit at the back is the unit that supplies power to the motor uh, I also put a third rail on the back over here to stiffen it all up uh, but other than that I th oh I did put a larger stepper motor on here other than that it's the rest of it is standard and now with these modifications it um, it does pretty well actually it does you know sort of uh, 3d carving small but 3d carving and uh, it's as I've made it as good as what it could be and I made some I think 16 or 20 videos um, on assembling th this whole thing and then finding out okay this <laughs> this is uh, this needs uprating or all the things that needed uprating and I, I made videos uprating it all and generally how to use it so this is a good start and it, so you can you can get into CNC routing to learn this is a learning tool only I suppose you could call it a big boy's toy but that's all this is it's a learning tool as it were um, and you can use free programs on this uh, such as uh, GRBL, Gerbil, uh, is the program that runs it, administers the G-Code. Um, there's a couple of other free programs that, that you can get which I describe in my videos. Um, like I say there's 20 videos I think I've put them all, all into a video library for you you'll find it on my channel some of you may know that I've done quite a few builds the larger one that this is sat on this is the last build that I did do that has a 36 by 36 inch uh, travel uh, it suits my purposes here I also did a smaller one which is like a 40 40 um, which is about what about 20 inches by 20 inches which is a good little machine um, and all of the plans are available on my Patreon pages as indeed all of the upgrades and modifications that I have done in the shop here uh, all the plans are available to patrons and of course where to buy stuff from and <laughs> what the correct things are to buy as in you know the uh, you know the ball screws and uh, things like the the spindle and stepper motors and where to get them from and how much they cost now I tell you this because you can build a large one like this one sat on this, you can build a large one like this for around about four to four and a half thousand Australian dollars that's doing it yourself you don't need any you know sort of big equipment 
um, you know, if you if you order the right lance uh, of all screws and things like that, you can build it straight off my plans. Um, and the only things I used with this was a drop saw. It was actually a wood saw, wood drop saw, good one. It was a Ryobi, I think. Uh, and I put a and I used a fine tooth tungsten carbide tipped blade. Now the blade was fairly expensive, but you can cut aluminium with it quite successfully. And I did 20 videos again building this. Every stage, every every bolt hole, every thread, everything. Uh, exactly how to build it as I did with the uh, smaller CNC router that I built. Like I say, I, I tell you this because one equivalent to this, if you're going to buy a good brand, it's going to cost you 10 grand. You know? Uh, so that is way out of the budget of most of us. Uh, so that's why I decided to start building them myself rather than buying them. I have bought several large machines, um, but it wasn't suit suiting my purpose on YouTube, uh, so I started building them. Okay, so that's basically, that's long and drawn out. <laughs> That's basically um, how to start. Get something, you know, this is what I would do. Get a, something like a 3018, then you start using this. You know, you, you get the knowledge of how to control a CNC machine and uh, what makes it tick. And building it yourself like this small one, you know, it sort of sets you up to building a larger one. Because if you can put one of these little ones together, you can put a larger one together, it's just scaled. <laughs>